Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moon here. I have a very special item for you. This is an accessory that you're going to want to travel with and take with you anywhere that you take your laptop. Of course, I'm talking about this right here. It is the screen bar light. Now this product is designed and manufactured by BenQ and they sent this item out for me to review. I will say that I've used this for about a good two months now and I have to say that it has proven to be very useful in very particular situations. Now I already have the Big Brother version of it at home. I had this even before BenQ reached out to me and this version is designed to clip right on top of your laptop. It's completely powered via USB and even has an app which we'll get to a little bit later. Now why is this really special and why do you need it? So let me tell you, this allows you to have a very good light source that is a CRI value of in the high 80s, which means it's going to render color really well for you. And it's a light that will illuminate the areas around your laptop. It's very lightweight. It also has an auto dimming feature. And the main thing that is really special about this light versus any other USB, uh, USB light is not only the CRI value, but also it doesn't give screen glare because of the angle that the light is able to project. It has an app, which I'll show you a little bit later. It has that light sensor. So the light sensor you can see right over here on the side. This is something that you're not going to find in a lot of USB cheap USB light sources. And I should mention that this product is retails 100 US dollars, which is not cheap, but so worth it. It has touchscreen controls, including a favorites setting that you can choose. You can, of course, adjust your coolness or warmness, color temperature of the light. It has an automatic setting over here. And of course, uh, also same thing with a touch sensitive uh, power button right there. Now it uses about five watts of power. This is a perfect illustration of a way that you can use it. Granted, this is in a relatively light environment. But as you can see, the angle of the light allows it to be projected away from the screen so you don't capture that glare and it just projects it right around your work area, wherever you're gonna be working at. If you just wanna project it right down in the keyboard, that also works pretty well. And again, this is just about the personalization to remember exactly what type of settings that you have on here. Here's an example of using a light source here. Now again, this picture does show for picture purposes, it's a relatively bright area. However, some places that you might might not be necessarily uh, bright enough and that's where this, this really works. Also, I really hate the traditional overhead office lighting. That is extremely full of glare uh, I think it just bothers my eyes over the time. In, in fact, most of the time I prefer to turn those off and having something like this will allow me to go ahead and not have to use, uh, not have to worry about what kind of other light source uh, that I might have to rely on in order to get some work done. So it has different color temperature settings. I believe it has eight different steps. Yes, eight ANSI white eight quadrangle color standards. It goes from a cool light at 6,500, which is basically close to daylight setting all the way down to a warm 2,700 light. So generally, if you have an old school light bulb, that's around a 3,000, 2,700 uh, Kelvin light spectrum. So you can adjust it to whichever way uh, that you like. Now, this is not full on RGB. So of course, it's only gonna do the color temperature warmth, but it's not gonna provide you with the different, uh, different colors on here. So it's really easy to use, uh, really taking, it has a nice little case here. Uh, you can easily carry this around. I will say that the case feels a little bit bulky, but it definitely protects your unit very well. Now, take a look at the, take a look at the different settings on here and we'll jump in a little bit closer to, to uh, see this right here live. So there's a 20 degree rotation angle that allows you to go ahead and adjust. So as you see when this is clipped, this will actually rotate up and down. So there's over 20 degrees of uh, rotation to get the proper angle. You got the light sensor over here, you got your favorite button, and of course, as I just alluded to, the color temperature settings right here, as well as the brightness button right over here. So basically, you press the brightness button and adjust it up or down, 
press the color temperature button to, uh, to adjust it colder or warmer. And then finally, we have an automatic setting, which basically sets it to the appropriate OSHA designated best Lumix, uh, sorry, best Lumen light setting uh, for the office environment or ANSI light setting. I forget which, I think it actually shows on a website and plus you have the power button uh, back over here. Now here's a bunch of international safety certifications. Something of this price and this level and quality is definitely gonna have all those certifications. And then here's uh, complete specifications on here. 15 uh, adjustable brightness levels. There's eight temperature color settings. As I was saying earlier, there's an automatic dimmer mode, touch control power button, last use settings memory. So this is pretty, I mean, the last use setting memory is pretty useful because uh, if you have something that you used, last used, and you unplugged and you're going to re reset it back in, all you got to do is plug it back in. You don't even have to press and, and reload the favorites button. You don't have to uh, juggle or press all the different buttons. You know, something like that's pretty useful. Then you got um, uh, details about the light source. There are dual color LEDs that you can go ahead and, of course, see right over here. So if you look inside this projection screen area, which is protected by a very, very clear piece of, I think, glass, you'll see the dual color LEDs. It has a color rendering index of 88. 500 lux in the center at a height of 300, uh, sorry, 3,000 3, millimeters or 30 centimeters, which is just roughly, roughly um, over a foot. Luminous flux is only 250 lumens, so it's not going to fluctuate too much. Color temperature, of course, is 2700 to 6500 kelvins. The power input that it requires is a 5 volt, 1 amp USB. You will see in the example that I have, uh, I actually just plug it directly into a power bank sometimes. And that's only because, you know, with, with, with um, a lot of these laptops these days, they only have a couple of ports. I really don't like this trend where Apple is basically removing every single port. I mean, my MacBook only has one port. So basically, I have a, I have a battery pack anyways. All it takes is one amp, which is basically a total of five watts of power. That's not too big of a deal. And then you got uh, the, um, the nice aluminum alloy and polycarbonate construction of it. It weighs 170 grams. Yeah, that's pretty lightweight. So then there's also an app that you, you uh, can get to use, and you can just download it directly at benqscreenbar.com. Uh, make sure you go ahead and choose the English. Sometimes it doesn't get that quite right. You just basically download it and run it, and you can then control uh, all the different settings that you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to demonstrate this on my screen here. Here's the screen bar, okay? And here's my desktop uh, screen bar app. I'm just gonna open this up and Q, yeah, screen bar. Uh, light app right here. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what's there. All right, so the screen bar light app has a couple of these different controls here. All right, you can turn it on or off. See, I press that button and it goes ahead and uh, turns out. Okay, let me just go ahead and move this over here. You can see that. Turn it on and off. Uh, this is for automatic setting. So basically, it will calibrate based on its surrounding through that light sensor that was up top. So as you can see, it was adjusting the light a little bit and, uh, and, and adjust the color temperature. And in, on top of that, it also optimizes your monitor screen level here too. So you can control that from this interface. So you can change the color temperature of your monitor here in relation to your screen bar light, make sure it matches up the way that you like it. And of course, um, you know, I, I can make the, the color cooler which you may be able to see some change. You'll, you'll see some overall change. Because I'm recording this part here on the iPhone, uh, it's also gonna be, it's on automatic setting, so it's, it's, you're, you're gonna see some changes uh, overall in the whole picture. So now I'm gonna move it all the way to the warmest color temperature. Now you see that it turned a little bit yellow, but then the iPhone is gonna do an automatic white balance and uh, adjust that a little bit, or smack it, smack it right there in the middle. All right, so that's that's that part. Uh, the automatic setting, of course, is that. If you wanna save this exact setting as a favorite, 
including your monitor settings, your color temperature, all that, you could just press that button to save that as a favorite, or just basically press it um, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, unit itself. And this final thing, I believe, is the, is the uh, whatchamacallit, um, power saving feature. Let's double check that. Let's take a look at that. Mode instruction. Yeah, power saving mode. So this detects when the laptop battery, uh, uh, how the battery is and adjusts the, the lamp brightness when the laptop is low powered. So when the battery is lower than 35%, the lamp will automatically reduce the brightness. When the battery is lower than 20%, the lamp will automatically turn off the lamp. Okay. So um, yeah, so the, these are all really, these are all really great uh, features. And to be honest, I don't use the smart light app a whole lot because you know the controls are physically right there and it's just a matter of just reaching on top of the uh, the laptop to go ahead and adjust these things still it's nice that they actually put the thought and the effort into adjusting everything so the whole system works out well together one thing i'll caution about using a screen bar uh screen bar smart light app is that this might affect if you have a color uh, color calibrated display or use some other color calibration software. That would kind of mess with it. So that's another reason why I also don't use this that much. So anyways, to summarize, uh, BenQ, this company right over here, makes this. It's a hundred US dollars. Guys, I know this is pricey, uh, but if you travel and you use your laptop a lot, you always want a good light source with you. Um, there's no better option than what they have right now. There really isn't. Uh, I do have a third party uh, type of device that also is trying to copy what BenQ has, but they don't have one that works like this um, that is as portable for the laptop. There's this a little bit clunkier and it's more of a copy of the original. And the fit and finish this, of this is just amazing. You got this nice brushed aluminum right here and this whole thing is made of aluminum. So this just speaks volumes of the quality and this would easily fit in, in like an Apple store. And by the way, the app works just fine on a, uh, a Mac or a PC. Uh, but of course I always use the manual controls anyways. All right, so, uh, Overall, if you can get over the 100 US dollar price point of the screen bar light, I'm going to give it a high recommend. But the only reason why I wouldn't recommend this is if you actually are in a very well lit environment like all the time. And I'm not. Okay. And actually, uh, a, a lot of times um, when I'm in a bedroom and I need to actually work, uh, do a little bit of work before I go to sleep, my wife needs to wake up, uh, you know, after at 6 a.m. Whereas for me, I can roll out of bed uh, later on in the day. I'm more of a night owl. This could be a marriage saver for you. Um, not, not keeping the lamp on, having this light specifically projecting only on that one small area for you to do work could do wonders. Yeah, it could do wonders in the quality of sleep for your partner your, or, you know, whoever that is around you that doesn't want to be bothered uh, with a bunch of light if they're trying to sleep. Okay. All right. So that's it for this uh, long review and demonstration. Please give this a like. Subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you're interested in purchasing this product, I will have links down below. I got this also on Amazon. Okay. So BenQ sent me one and uh, I was traveling and I left it somewhere. So I lost it, I think, maybe. Or it might be up there in San Francisco, which uh, I might, might get. So I bought another one, still $100. And uh, you know, I never see any sales on these. So if you're looking for a discount on these, I haven't seen one yet. Maybe because they're, um, they're that popular or because they are that expensive I don't know. I haven't seen a sale on it. If there is, of course, you will find the best price in my links down below. All right. Catch you in the next video.